We call him the Energizer Bunny. He takes off, his balance is really good. So he really enjoys my scooter and his bicycle and anything that's round that he can throw. We were working on our front garden and we were mulching and Tobias wanted to help. So he was helping and he got mulch in his eye and he rubbed his eye and it scratched his eye. This infection was very fast, very aggressive, and it ultimately left his cornea so scarred that he was unable to see through it at all. The only option we had left was to do a corneal transplant. Okay. Okay. Once we were able to cure the infection here in Wichita, Kansas, the clients traveled to UC Irvine because if Tobias were my son and uh, he needed a corneal transplant, where would I take him? And immediately Dr. Roger Steinert uh, came to mind. When Dr. Gengadar called me, I had two simultaneous thoughts. One was, wow, this is a case where all of the technology, everything we've been working on can really make a difference in a major way on, on a young child for the rest of his life. At the same time, doing this type of transplant in someone that young, it's just simply never been done before. We were the only place in the world capable of doing this procedure. What are you making, Tobias? What are these? Pan things. OK, now. Oh! OK, but not in the eggs. <laughs> you guys best buddies, say. <laughs> we were very thankful and very grateful that they were willing to take that risk with our son, because that's the only hope he had. It's like trimming a piece of gum off of a cellophane wrapper with a blade freehand. It's almost impossible. If they nick it, even slightly nick it, then they have chronic rejection issues for the rest of their life. There are no second chances. It's you have one shot at it. But Dr. Steinert didn't nick it. Didn't it? <laughs> oh, the reason we were there. This procedure allowed him the chance to be that boy and to be able to participate in all the activities that he lives to do. When a, a child has a vision problem, that's for the rest of their life. So we felt very committed to bringing the very best in eye care to all ages. And that is why we created a special wing for pediatric eye care. And that dedication and that space is unique in Southern California. We're a little nervous about big city California, but the warmth that we felt from the entire staff. It was, it was a wonderful experience and Tobias felt right at home. He's an active boy. <laughs> yes. He's a capable boy. He would be a different boy if it wasn't for Dr. Steiner. Yeah. And it makes me feel better because I know that he can see and be able to live his life. Whatever thing that he has planned, he can now do 